everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Jack and today we are building a Star Wars Rogue One set. This is Krennic's Imperial Shuttle. This set is recommended for ages 9 to 14. It is set number 75156 and it has 863 pieces. There are six minifigs included. We've got two Imperial Death Troopers, Director Krennic, Pow, Bodhi Rook, as well as K2So. This vehicle follows a similar design to a lot of other Imperial Shuttles in the past, but it looks like just about every part of this ship can in some way, shape, or form be articulated. All right, let's check out how many bags we got inside. All right, so inside the box, we've got seven bags. They're all about medium size, which means this build's gonna go pretty quick. We're not building too many parts at any single moment in the build, which is super nice. One big manual, just a few little stickers on the inside. This should go pretty quick, I have a feeling. So let's get started right now. The set is complete, the shuttle looks great, there's a lot of cool functions I want to talk about, but first let's check out these minifigs, and I believe all of them so far are exclusive to this set. Now there's a few main characters to the Rogue One movie here, but I can't skip over these Death Troopers, I just want to talk about them immediately. These guys look great. The new mold for the helmet is excellent. I mean, it gets really, really detailed, especially towards the front there. There's a bit of green highlighting shown right at the bottom, and some nice printing in the front. Now the body print shows a lot of different gear. You can assume these guys are strapped to the teeth, and there's almost no reflective printing on the body, which I kind of like. It gives the impression that they might be a little bit more like stealth fighters. I'm not really sure. Each of these guys has a nice cloth shoulder pauldron and a standard stormtrooper face. Now, right now, this is the only set where you can get these minifigs, but guaranteed you're going to be seeing them a lot more in later Star Wars waves. Now, this is Krennic's shuttle set, so we might as well check out this minifig. His torso printing is relatively similar to other Imperial officers we've had in the past, but it is, of course, slightly different from the rest, and he seems to have something strapped in the back of his belt. Not really sure what that is. He comes with one singular expression, a very sort of non-plussed face for sure. And in the movie, he has this sort of longer blaster pistol. And so Lego decided to give him this silver blaster rifle, which I think looks a little bit more accurate than if they'd given him one of the shorter ones. That is a soft cloth cape he is wearing, which is nice. And let's check out Bodhi Rook now. Here he is without his backpack on first, so you can just kind of see what his detailing looks like. He's got a vest with what looks like a lot of equipment strapped all around, and he comes with two really nice expressions. One is a smile, and he's got really nice printing to show that sort of scruffy beard, and the other one shows him with some goggles on. The flesh tone is also slightly darker than what you would get on an average minifig, and here he is with his backpack. I like the Lego built backpacks, something I always just sort of appreciate on a minifigure. And there's some nice detail here. That pistol piece could be an extra weapon, I'm not really sure. Or heck, you could flip it the other way and it would be an antenna facing upwards. Anyways, he's an excellent fig and let's check out k 2 So I hope I'm saying that right. The movie is not out at this exact moment. I don't know how you say his name, but the main thing to take note of for this minifigure is of course the mold for the body. In fact, I think that is the only exclusive piece for him, but it 
definitely looks excellent. Really, really fine molding detail, especially by the jaw of the head. Also, the printing detail on the chest is extremely, extremely fine. And I think anybody can appreciate the symbols printed onto either shoulder. Now, he didn't come with a weapon, but it's very easy to just give him one. And he also didn't come with anything on his back, but you can see there's a stud there in case you wanted to add something. A nice droid fig, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this guy in the movie. Now, our very last minifigure here is Pow. I believe he's a bounty hunter. Definitely looks like one. And he has the best printing I think out of any of the figs in the set. There is just so much detail on that torso piece. Ruffled clothes and a lot of sort of random gadgets and equipment sticking out of them. And the leg printing matches up with that really well. But aside from that, he's got two face prints. Both of them are excellent. And I mean, come on, just look at that print for the mouth open. The mold for his cap is definitely brand new. And he's got a clever little build to show the pack on his back. That is a sticker detailing, but you can see he's got some sort of antenna for communicating far away. Comes with a long blaster rifle. And now let's Let's check out Krennic's shuttle. Right now it's in its flying position, so the wings are folded all the way down. I like that the angle of the wings match up perfectly with the angle of the head of the ship, and it certainly is one intimidating looking machine. The top fin has been abridged quite a bit compared to other previous Imperial shuttles, but the wings are very long and slender, kind of similar to Kylo Ren's shuttle. I think the nicest and coolest looking part of the build is definitely that front. There's kind of an archway in the front triangular bit, which kind of looks like an A, and underneath we've got a build for a couple of blasters there, but there really was just a lot of clever building to make that shape there, and we've got a brand new mold that shows the cockpit. The combination of little bits of gray and also tile pieces used on the side makes for a varied look that really Really gives a bit more depth to the side paneling. This would be a boring build if it was just all studs or if it was all smooth. The bits of gray also move up towards the fin and interestingly enough the wings themselves remain mostly black. Now when this thing's folded up in landing position you can see the undersides of the studs on the wings which of course I'm not a huge fan of but there really wasn't any getting around it especially at this scale. But now that the wings are folded up you can see the hidden spring-loaded shooters and you also have a better look at how the wings are even attached. We've got a couple of very big ball joints. And that's pretty much it. There is enough friction to kind of keep the wings sort of half folded out, but if you were to bounce this ship up and down when you're kind of holding it in the air, then they're gonna naturally fall down into flight position. And while we're down here by the ball joint, you can see the build for the landing gear. I'm not a huge fan of just the aesthetic look to this underside. There's just a bit of exposed blue Technic, which uh, could have easily been covered up, but the build for the landing gear is relatively simple and it works well. This is very similar to the other Imperial shuttle that we got last year, it just doesn't look quite as good. Now I've covered most of the external details and generally I'm really liking the way the ship looks on the outside, but I think the main feature of the shuttle is its ability to open up. First, the cockpit opens and I gotta say the build for the cockpit is probably one of the nicest looking cockpits I've seen for any spaceship made from a Lego set. We've got a massive control console, that larger bit of detailing is a sticker, and a great build for a seat. And I think it's just wonderful that they used those rounded Technic pieces as a bit of extra detailing. Usually Lego doesn't use Technic to make something look better, but in this case, I think it really worked out. Anyways, every single spaceship cockpit opens up. That's nothing really special, but with Krennic's Imperial Shuttle, you can open up everything. The side panels are attached at two different joints, and it basically allows for the walls to completely slide away. Also, that front panel completely opens up, and you can see some space for where you would put the Death Troopers, and there's an exit ramp as well, which is pretty nice. But when you look back into the shuttle, there are some details that you can notice, like maybe those stairs that lead up towards the main cockpit. And there's also a couple of internal sticker details kind of thrown in there. But the one thing I don't really like is that the interior itself doesn't really look like it's supposed to be presented, really. There's a lot of different varied colors kind of thrown around everywhere. At times, I think they're trying to build up some detail. And at other times, we just have completely exposed internals. I do appreciate that you can open everything up and get minifigs easily in and out and kind of all around the shuttle, but for the most part, it looks like the interior is just kind of strewn about. For what it's worth, you can fold down the back as well and really open this thing up. There are some red clips where I suppose you could put some extra weapons if you had them, but I don't really know if this is supposed to be a play feature. Folding it all back up and just kind of taking a look at the set one more time, I'd say that the shuttle itself looks excellent, it's a solid build, and that makes it relatively swooshable. Let's see some of the highlights for me are of course the minifigs here are all great I don't feel like there was any lack of detailing in any sense there and right now this shuttle for me has one of the best cockpits that I've seen in a Lego set it's got a good part for price ratio and ultimately I'm really happy with the way Krennic's Imperial shuttle turned out
All right, that is it for this episode, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. And I have left a link in the video description below if you want to buy this set. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I really do like making these episodes for you guys, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah.